permissions to upload their content online and to tell stories about them. There is more than 2,000 museums on the platform now. And we have a lab, and the lab is where we explore interaction between uh, arts, culture, and technology. For instance, it's uh, the place where David Coz and I started the cardboard, this uh, virtual headset made out of cardboard. It's also the place where we started Art Selfie, this feature that allows you to find if there is a portrait in a museum that looks like you. It's super fun. If you haven't tried, you should. And um, we are doing many other stuff. You can check this, them from g.co slash arts experiment. What is really exciting with the lab is that uh, we have a program named Artist in Residency. So we have the opportunity to work directly with artists. And for this specific project, we ask the Somerset House, which is an institution based in London, to help us to curate an artist. And the um, open call that they made for that was named N Dimensions. So they select uh, Yena Sutela. Yena Sutela is a woman, an artist, working with words, with uh, audio, and with uh, living materials and technology. And her work has been presented at the Bilbao Guggenheim and also in the um, Contemporary Art Museum of Tokyo. And for this project, we ask Memo Acton, a very influential creative coder, to help Yena realize her vision. So what you will see now is um, a 12-minute video, the result of our work. But just before that, we would like to roll a five-minute video a behind the scene so you will have more context about why she does what she does. So first, I'll just roll the behind the scene. I hope you enjoy it. Mimi Yaseti is an audiovisual artwork based on machine learning, teaching the, the machine to speak in tongues. So my name is Sienna Sutala and I work a lot with words, sounds and living materials, exploring uh, biological and computational systems. I'm working with machine learning to generate a certain type of glossopoetry based on Martian language by the French medium Helen Smith in the late 1800s and the movement of Bacillus subtilis or the Nattobacterium that are also known as a test species in spaceflight experimentation. Together the bacteria as well as these early Martian scripts will, um, together with the computer shaman, will create a new um, language altogether and the end result will be an audiovisual work. Nimiya Seti is something that I worked on as part of my residency at the Somerset House Studios and at the Google Arts and Culture Lab in Paris. Together with Memo Akten and Damien Henry from Google Arts and Culture Lab. So I've been working with computer vision for uh, like well over a decade now, trying to get machines to see. But in the last four or five years, I've also been very interested in machine learning, uh, which is actually in the last couple of years really exploded. <laughs> really using more state-of-the-art machine learning is, is really conceptually fascinating because at the heart of a lot of these state-of-the-art algorithms it parallels a lot of cognitive processes that we might have have in, in our own brains in the sense that we need to distill these different mediums down to common abstract representations uh, and that's what the machine learning approach has. So Bacillus subtilis is um, the main ingredient of natto or fermented soybeans, known as a very healthy probiotic. Bacillus subtilis is one of the main bacteria taken to space on, for example, um, the Mars missions to test the limits of life. This bacteria that can also survive on Mars, and maybe it also came from Mars, <laughs> and, and is this alien that we inhabit through the, the food that we're eating, like the probiotics. So it's the kind of protagonist of this project. 
and right now I'm, I'm using its movement as a sort of a script for this language that is generated. So the bacteria is filmed through a microscope and then the movement is, of the bacteria is uh, observed by the computer. We look at the, the video and we somehow encode that to a high dimensional latent space which we think of as a language agnostic representation of what the system, in this case the bowl of bacteria, is thinking. And from that we decode into text, we decode into a kind of what we call handwriting, we decode into speech. The idea was to generate um, language that's, uh, that's audible and that's the part that we've been working with Damien at, in Paris. So the idea is basically to, to record these uh, snippets of sound and, and then feed these uh, into the computer and have it uh, learn that voice. It's very important for us to work with artists because uh, it's the opportunity to um, to use algorithms in a way that they are not being designed for. The processes that take place in machine learning are also largely unknown to us, so there's the idea of the black box and, and it's not clear what exactly is happening when the computer is learning something, so, so we're also sort of, we created an alien in that respect. There's like a lot of similarities between looking into the microscope and looking into the cosmos. I think we're all on board, uh, or we kind of know what needs to be done. This residency has been a lot about learning about machine learning in practice and also about what's interesting in that territory. <laughs> Okay. So this was just a teaser, of course, so now let's roll the video. It's 12 minutes long. Thanks.